Hey guys, today we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're going to be doing some hunting for a rare red fox. Now, during our guided hunt last week, I managed to find this melanistic red fox. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get to keep it because our guest was the one who shot it and kept it. So now I want one for myself. I know it's not going to be an easy thing to find again, but we're sure gonna try. Yes, we do have a gray fox here. Actually, here in New England, red fox are found on the left half of the map and gray fox are found on the right half of the map. So I thought I'd start right up here and I'd say he's encroaching onto the red fox half, but he's right here. So we're gonna shoot him. Okay, so what I'm actually looking for today well, that was a swing and a miss. Oh my gosh, what? Have you ever played this game before? Oh, once or twice. <laughs> Oops. Well, I really did not take my time there and I wasn't perfectly zeroed. And when you're hunting gray fox or red fox or raccoons or any of these small critters, you really need to be careful to be perfectly zeroed or adjust your rifle properly. Otherwise, that is exactly what is going to happen. You're going to not get the shot. And that is what happened to me. But what I am looking for in today's video is a melanistic red fox and I know that is going to be likely a very difficult thing to find but I actually found one on our guided hunt last week and because it was a guided hunt I didn't get to keep it and now I want one in the worst way so I don't care if it's a female level one doesn't matter to me I just want to find one and I found him in the dark I thought there was a chance he could be melanistic but I really wasn't sold on it I thought once I picked him up he probably was going just to be a different darker common but it was indeed a melanistic and look at this thing he is just absolutely stunning so we're gonna be hunting red fox today doesn't mean we're not gonna hunt other stuff but we're after the little guys today so because of that this is my loadout so today i'm carrying with me the coleman which is good for classes one and two i have the seven millimeter malmer which is good for classes four all the way up to nine so the reason i'm taking this baby is so that i don't have to carry the 300 because we we are not mainly hunting bigger species today. I have the Virant 22 for duckies. I also need a diamond golden eye duck. I will be keeping my eyes peeled for that. I am mainly going to be using the Zarza 223 on the foxes. And then of course I do have the Sunberg 454, another four to nine weapon. I absolutely love the Rhino. We might just do a little bit of bow hunting. I do have the Stenberg takedown recurve bow with me and that is the newest bow that has come out. It came in the Ambusher DLC and it only weighs two and a half kilograms, including the scope. So it fits perfectly into any loadout. So might as well take a bow with us. So what we're gonna do here is we are gonna start right up here. We're gonna work our way down the entire river until about halfway through. And then I'm gonna hit all of these little lakes. So Fox drink from 17 until 20, pretty much on every map that has Fox. And Red Fox and Gray Fox drink at the same time, just on opposite halves of the map. Now, New England is a very thick map. Red Fox and Gray Fox and Bobcats can very easily hide behind these rocks in the riverway and there's lots of turns and dips. So we really got to keep our eyes open, but I do like to run it because otherwise I am just never going to get to all the different spots and checks. So I'm okay with spooking things and shooting them on the run. And there is another Gray Fox. Dudes, you're supposed to be over on the right. <laughs> What are you doing here? Hopefully we'll be seeing Red Fox soon or I'm gonna have to adjust my hotspot maps. What is going on? Now guys, let me know in the comments what your best Red Fox trophy has been. Oh, 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 whitetail. Okay, who wants to shoot a whitetail? Like I said, I'm gonna be shooting it all today. And splat, that's too much fun. Now he's gonna go for a fast run. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this one. See if he'll chill a little bit. It's not looking good. No, he's like, I am out. Yeah. Seeing just the antlers is not gonna help me, but we did get the one. And definitely stick around right to the end of the video, guys. I will drop a keyword. Drop that in the comments for your chance to win a one month membership to the channel. And let's get into this hunt. I tell you, motivation. I can't believe I'm back here in New England because this map does take up most of my patience. Not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, do I have my dog? I do. 
We'll give him some love so he'll track a little bit better. And this white tail just dropped, so he should be right here. How you doing, my buddy? Oh, that was a great shot. Oh, a oh, little bit high, but we did get the shot. Sweet. We're just warming up. Let's see if we can't find some very cool red fox on this very dark and dreary map. Let's do it. Okay, we just had our first red fox give us a warning call. So right up to here, I actually have red fox and gray fox just in this little area there. And I think then the gray fox will stop showing up now because I spotted another zone right there. That's definitely encroaching on the left half of the map. I'm getting picky here, aren't I? There it is right there. And are you kidding? Got her. <laughs> I thought for a second I didn't. And that. And she is down. And that is our first red fox for today's hunt. Just a level four female. Oh, thoracic. And I didn't even get a good shot. A little too close to him. Oh, well, we'll take a respawn. Come back as a mellow, would ya? That would be so great. The zone. And there was another female in here as well as another male. Hmm. All right, let's jump down here and keep looking. Still getting great. Gray fox down here. This is really interesting. Okay, well, let's shoot one. Beautiful. That was a good shot. Eastern cottontail rabbits are all over the place. They are giving me all kinds of warning calls. But if you guys are looking for where to find each species here in the New England mountains, I will link the super guide right here on the screen and below the video. I have a hotspot map for every species on the map in that video. So it'll definitely help you with where to find everything and everything you need to know to hunt everything here in New England. And just a gray. We pulled a gold out of a level six, so that's pretty sweet. And that is the shot. Double lung from 142 meters. So there are actually four different rare variations for gray fox. There is albino, melanistic, leucistic, and piebald. And I don't have any of them, so we are going to have to hunt some gray fox before too long as well. Now you can also hunt gray fox in Mississippi. I don't know what's better, New England or Mississippi. I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, so I just got a warning from a male red fox. <coughs> Never know what it's gonna be. Especially with the gray fox. Male and females are equal with gray fox. Gray fox can go diamond at level eight on a regular basis and they can go diamond as male or female. And I actually have a diamond of both sexes, which is very cool. It's very, very excited to find a female diamond red fox. You gonna come out, my dude? <coughs> Now, when you're calling in anything like gray fox, red fox, coyotes, things like that, you gotta be really patient when you're calling them in because they do not come in quickly. They take their very sweet time. Now, as long as he hasn't bolted already, he should eventually come into the call. Should, should is the word. Doesn't mean he will, but he should. I just gotta have the patience to stick around long enough. This is the predator jackrabbit collar and it works on all the foxes, red fox, gray fox, coyotes. <laughs> Oh, he's 50 meters away. There he is. Oh, he's a mythical. He's a big one. I need to get him. I got him. Absolutely splattered him. Yes, that is very sweet. Well, we're going to struggle to find a bigger one than this without finding a diamond. How you doing, my buddy? Very nice. 13.93. Holy, that is a big one. 14.05 is diamond. So this guy is 0.13. How's my math? Yeah, I think 0.13. Seven. No, 0.12 under diamond. Let me know if my math is right. I'm not sure. He's very close to diamond nonetheless. So that was a 54.6 meter shot and that was a pretty nice one. So that's an orange, which is a common. And the rare fur types for red fox include albino, melanistic, and piebald. So this is where we are, top left corner. So we have one more hour of drink time. We barely started, let's keep going. We'll definitely have to do some time changes. Okay, so it looks like that I have run out of drink time. I'm gonna have to put the time back because I do have a black bear out here drinking. But since we have him here, he's a pretty nice one. Let's shoot him. So this is the seven mil Malmer. He is 240 meters. All right, we're gonna aim a little high. 
And we definitely got him with two shots. Now you never want to shoot anything more than twice. Twice is the max you're allowed to shoot anything and still get full score. Okay, here is our big bear. And he is a black and we got two vital shots there. Beautiful, so I aimed up here and that was the drop because I was zeroed to 150 and he was 247 meters away. I like the black fur type. I think they look very cool. All right, guess we better change the time and keep looking. Okay, we have a few white tail here. I guess I'm in the mood to shoot everything. And splat. Anybody else? I can't see him for the trees. Okay. And there he is, just a silver, but we got a beauty double lung shot. And he was just traveling through the woods. I do love the beauty of this map. I love fall. And this map is even more beautiful than Hirschfelden. And Hirschfelden is very hard to beat. So that is definitely saying something. But even though this map is a tough map, it's just so beautiful. Even at night, it's stunning. Now, I guess I just changed the time back and the bears are just leaving even their drink zone, so we have a lot of bears around right now. So we're gonna keep our eyes peeled. Oh, there's another level seven bear and he is escaping. None of that. Okay, dude, give me a shot. Give me a shot, give me a shot. I got him! And splat. It's always best to take two shots if you can, because I often make the vital shot on the second shot. Just clipping them and not getting a good shot gives you an extra few seconds to put that second shot in, right? A level six red fox. I'm pretty sure that's not rare. I'm just gonna leave him. And he did not get far. This guy is a dusky, and we got two vital shots on him. So a little bit on the low side, but it definitely did the job, and he did. We're gonna get some bear respawn. See, look at the height, the elevation, so, so beautiful. And the improvements that they have done to the water, it looks so great. They just keep making this game better and better. They really do. Oh, there goes our six. Might as well get him. Now, I don't know how far he is away from me. Oh, well, we got him. He did not get up from that. And there he is. And double lug shot on the trot. And we got a gold out of a level six. Not too bad. Very cool. Very sweet. Okay, where's that melanistic? I need to find it. Okay, so now we're in the top left corner of the map and I actually have three red fox in this zone here. Two of them are nice and lined up. Let's see if we can take both of them. Now, I'm not gonna be perfectly zeroed, so I'm definitely gonna have to aim high. Here we go. The other one is down. I did not get her. Okay, we're gonna have to zero to 300. Chances of getting her at this point are slim to none. And I'm out of ammo. Oh, she is going down though. I don't think she's going to make it to tomorrow. Probably not. And there's a four, but no big boys. Now again, if I were to find a Mela, I probably wouldn't know that it was melanistic until I picked it up. So anything that looks really, really dark, we are definitely going to shoot. Cause I could have easily passed up that Mela Red Fox in Emerald Coast. I definitely wasn't sure that that was what I was looking at. I was just hoping and it was actually a Mela. <laughs> I'm still shocked by that. It's so crazy. But man, it certainly inspired me and now we're out here trying to find our own. Okay, dog, your turn. You're behind me. Thank you. And that is the first one. Oh, I was still high. I overcompensated and they still gave us the shot though. So we did get a vital, they gave us lung. Let's see what happened on the second shot. No vital organs. <laughs> Where are you, Bobcat? Just let me get eyes on you. I don't see anything. Oh. Pick up the tracks, see if we have any max weight Bobcat tracks. That looks like a rabbit track. I don't see any. And there's our kill. Thank you, Doug, you rock. Okay, so definitely not a good shot, but that did take her down. Well, I have a feeling there is an insane amount of red fox on this map. I have barely searched the top left corner and we have a lot more looking to do. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Okay, we have found a whitetail feed zone. They're just starting to show up. You're pretty. And now you're pretty dead. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh, you're behind the hill. Okay, never mind. Okay, we have a pretty big gray fox. This is very interesting. So right up here, there's an overlap of red fox and gray fox in this area. So over here, we have gray fox, then we have red fox, and then we have gray fox again. And there's actually a level seven hiding in here. Now he may spook, put out a couple calls, and see if he will stick around. Oh, and we have red fox here. Okay. 
is very interesting. He's still here. There it is, there it is. Okay, beautiful. He is 114 meters. You know what? Let's use the Kalman this time. Now I can zero to 100 meters with the Kalman, so that's kind of sweet. Oh, I can't see him. No. All right, I'm gonna keep calling. Gotta still be here. Do I have a clear shot? I, I don't know. I'm gonna take it. I got him. I definitely got him. And there are all kinds of bobwhite quail in this area. Not the easiest to hunt in the dark. And there we go. We have red fox and gray fox at the same lake. Okay, and here is our buddy. And we do have a gold 5.73 with a double lung shot with the Kalman. So if you can get close enough, the Kalman's a pretty sweet little weapon. It comes with the Mississippi Acres DLC and it is only good for classes one and two, but it does come in very handy. So not a bad one. Pretty big, but not exactly what we're looking for. So we've had one mythical red fox so far. All right, let's head up here and see what we can find at these two lakes. I only have 20 minutes left. I better get going. Okay, guys, we have a really nice big coyote, level seven. He's on the trot and he's quite a ways out. So this is not gonna be an easy thing to take down. I'll try and get a little closer if I can. All depends how fast he is moving. All right, I like to get about 200 meters. They're very tiny, so your zeroing is important. Okay, here we go. And aim a little high. Oh, he stopped. He stopped. 200 meters. Mm, he didn't stop. Oh, dear. I got him. I actually got him. I think I got a vital there. He slowed down for us. That was very helpful of him. And we got a vital. Yes. And there he is. Oh, that is very sweet. 53.51. Not a bad one. Not bad at all. And there's the shot. So I did aim up here and a little far forward. And I was very lucky. If I had waited just a millisecond longer, I would have messed it up. But we did get the shot. 207 meters. Not too bad. Okay, we have a level six male and a level three female. If we add them together, that's nine. <laughs> that might be the closest we get to a nine legendary today, but let's see if we can take them both down. So I'm gonna use the Zarza 223, and I definitely cannot do it. I can't take more than one animal down unless I am using the Hyperion. Now zeroing is super important, so I'm gonna try and get to about 150 meters. Now getting two is gonna be tough, but we're gonna try and see how we do. And my scent eliminator is still working. Put that on a little while ago. There's three of them. Okay, here we go. No, I missed the second one. Oh, what just happened there? I don't think I got her. I think I just saw her run over there. There she is. I have one shot left and she is far. 300 meters. That's a little fast, that's no fair. No. Oh well, we tried. Okay, dog. Take us to the one we got a vital on. There, there he is, right here. How you doing, my dude? And that is a red, and I love the vibrancy. They did a redo on the fur for Red Fox a while back, and they look completely amazing. Definitely fluffier. They're one of the coolest species to hunt in the map. Definitely tough to find trophies of. One of the toughest diamonds, I would say. I don't know if that's the same one. Might be. Let's see if we can get her. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, got her! That was beautiful! Okay, here she is. And that is an orange, not quite as vibrant, but beautiful shot, double lung on the trot from 95 meters. Awesome! Now, are there any big boys or girls? Actually, I don't think females can make diamond. I know gray fox can, but I've never seen a female red fox diamond. But if you guys have, please let me know in the comments. I would love to see an image of that if that has happened to anyone because I have never heard of it or seen it. But crazy things can happen. Ooh, that's a big coyote, a level seven. It's not gonna be easy to take down on the trot, but we're gonna try. How far is he? 108 meters. Yikes, it's not giving me much of a shot. Here I go. No! Oh, I hit it! No! Well, I tried. That is tough. I hit it again. No. Let's go see how we did. I don't think we got a vital, though. But we had to try. He's still not down? Uh-oh. <laughs> I thought he'd be down by now. Still not down. We definitely did not get a good shot. And now he's down. Okay. No organs hit. Man! Okay, and here he is. How you doing, my dude? Oh, hit him in the leg. That was the first shot, and it 
was a good try. I mean, he was running pretty good. 200 meter shot, and that is a pretty big coyote. He would have been a gold. This is another very tough diamond. The small predators, not easy to find. I actually think I have had two diamond coyotes in six years of play in this game. One of them was from Leighton and the other was from Rancho. And Rancho is actually a really, really awesome map for hunting coyotes. And if we ever do get a coyote great one, I will probably, well, this map might not be too bad, but I probably would do my grind in Rancho. It's just such a great map for coyotes. Okay guys, so if you actually come to a lake, I just came in, I lay down and I just sat here and it's amazing how many animals start to show up. There's a level seven female red fox. That is definitely the biggest female we've seen so far today. And then we have a whole pile of Eastern wild turkeys. Now, unfortunately, none of them are max weight, but there's just a pile of them. How you doing? He's almost on top of us. And then there are more red fox. There's a rabbit right there and two more red fox. Again, a five and a four, adding up to nine. And we do have some golden eye as well. Any diamond potentials? Nope, I do need a diamond golden eye. That's one of the ones I need to have them all. And I think diamond is 1230. None of these are big enough. Let's see if we can take the level seven, as long as she hasn't spooked. Where did she go? Oh, she's right here. Holy, 30 meters. No Argus for me, thank you. I want the Hyperion, we need to do this fast. Oh, this is crazy. Add splat, absolutely beautiful. You know, the Coleman is actually a pretty sweet little rifle. I wish it zeroed further, but other than that, it's pretty darn great. And that is a very big lady, level seven gold, 11.19. We got her from 28 meters. She came right up to us and did not spook. Man, it's dark here. And I can't believe they didn't spook. That's pretty crazy. But everything else is gone. So this is where we are on the map. Okay guys, so I thought I would change it to whitetail drink time just to have a look at the map with daylight. It is definitely way easier to hunt during the day. But unfortunately, most of the predators do drink at night and it's really hard to see on this map, but that's a pretty nice buck. The other thing I thought we should do is test out the Zarza 223 on Whitetail. Now I do really like it for things like raccoons, red fox, gray fox, coyotes, the small predators. I don't think it's that great for deer, but let's see how it does. Let's actually test it out. Now I would never ever do a grind with this weapon. It would not be very efficient. We only have two bucks and they wanna be separated, do they? Okay, well, here we go. Not the best angle. Oh, you didn't give me two seconds there, no fear. Dude. Doesn't look like I got him. Well, he just went down, maybe I did. Let's go see. Oh, no hunting pressure, that's bad. <laughs> That could be because of the angle of that first buck. Oh, we are finding lots of whitetail here. This map is actually really, really good for whitetail. Okay, well, two of them did die, so let's see if we got any vitals. Okay, I'm gonna take a perfectly broadside shot on this guy that we're for sure gonna hit. So this map actually reminds me of Ontario, Northern Ontario. This is exactly what it looks like up at the cottage in late September, early October. Okay, I'm gonna have to stand for this one. Well, that should have been beauty. Well, let's see how long it takes for him to drop. Okay, he dropped. We definitely got him. Um, low bleed rate, but it's already down to 50. I couldn't see the vital blood splatter or if there was one or not, but he's going down fast now. So I think maybe we did get him. It's a decent amount of blood for the 223, but he is running a very far distance. And there he is, okay. How did we do? I did get a vital, I did. Okay, so he ran a pretty far distance. That was a 213 meter shot with the Zarza 223. Pretty nice buck, 225. And he ran 223 meters, so just over 200 meters. So not a grinding weapon, but it wasn't that bad. Definitely just not the best. Okay, and this is the last one that we shot. Oh no, this is the one that we got on the trot. And I did get a vital on him. 255.65 meters. That was a pretty crazy shot. Not bad at all. I will definitely take that all day long. 
So we shot him over here. He ran 264 meters. So he ran quite a distance, even further than the first one. That's very interesting. Well, I'm pretty proud of that shot. Not bad, but I would hunt red fox way more. Oh my gosh, there's whitetail everywhere. I would hunt red fox way more on this map if they did drink during the day. Maybe one of these days we'll do a whitetail grind in New England. What would you guys think of that? Let me know in the comments. So this is where we are. And right here, three whitetail zones all in one corner. Man, not bad at all. Okay, so now we are in the bottom left-hand corner of the map. I am going to check this lake, then we're going to head down. We're going to run all the way up here. We have checked most of the area where you can find red fox. We are going to start hunting bobcats soon. Oh, we got some foxes coming in. Just a level four. Ooh, eight mythical. Oh, is, is that an albino? Oh my gosh, that's an albino. <laughs> that is an eight mythical albino. What the heck is happening? I'm pretty sure that's albino. I I've never seen a piebald. Oh my gosh, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. That is insane. I gotta take a perfect shot on this thing. We need to look a little closer. I'm not shooting him yet. Look at that! Oh my gosh, that is definitely albino. I do have an albino red fox. It's a level six, and I think it's a silver, but it's on Xbox. So this is going to be my very first one. There it is, on PC. I don't have one in the lodge. So I want to take a perfectly zeroed shot. I can't believe what I'm looking at. That's insane. It's stunning. I just want to look at it. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get closer. Look, we're 300 meters away and you can tell that it's albino from here. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, should we take it with the Kalman or with the Zerza 223? I would take it with the bow, but I'm terrified of messing it up and they are so tiny. I think I'm just gonna shoot them. Oh, and I have a bit of a questionable wind. That's not good. Okay, I do have scent eliminator. Sweet. Oh, and I didn't get rid of my dog. Darn it. Um, well, I'm gonna go for it. And if we have to, we'll do it again. Okay, I'm gonna get as close as I can. I'm gonna get to 100 meters and use the Kalman because the Kalman zeroes in at 50, 100 and 150 meters. Look at that. That is one of the craziest rears I have had in this game in six years. That just might be the craziest thing. Holy. I'm gonna put the Argus on. Okay, he doesn't know we're here yet. Okay, dog, lay down. Uh-oh, he's alert. Oh no. Okay, I'm zeroed to 100. I gotta do this fast. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Here we go. I think we got him. I think we got him. Please, please make that a good shot. And splat. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm shaking. I'm literally shaking right now. Oh, please be vital blood splatter. It looked beautiful to me. Where is the vital blood splatter? There it is. Yes. There it is. Yes. Holy. Look at that. Oh, it's stunning. Look at that. I have to take some photos of this. Oh my gosh. I have to turn all of this off. Okay. That's better. Look at that. Look at the paws. They are pink, right? So I'm half wondering, guys, if this is piebald. He sure looks albino, but he does have a lot of color coming through. I don't think his paws are pink, are they? It's so hard because the light's blowing them right out. Yeah, there's a lot of color coming through. Okay, we're gonna pick him up. Holy. All right, here we go. He's albino. An eight mythical. I need to taxi that ASAP. What? Oh, it's so beautiful. That might be the craziest rear that I've ever shot. I think it just might be. I think I like this better than my super rare albino water buffalo. That is so amazing. He's a 13.7, 0.35 under diamond. Can you imagine a super rare albino red fox? Well, this is definitely second best. And let's look at that beauty shot. What? Oh, I was further away than I thought. 20 meters can make a difference when they're this tiny. So I'm very happy we didn't mess them up, but that is insane. Well, this is where we got them. Bottom left-hand corner of the map. I'm, I'm in shock. <laughs> I'm totally in shock right now. What? 
So that is definitely one of my favorite rares ever in six years of playing the Hunter Call of the Wild. Like, this guy is insane. But the key phrase for today's video is crazy rare. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, click right here to see the hunt with the Mela Gray Fox.